Hi scholars, we're gonna do some math together. And just like this week, we've been practicing working with quantities and numbers with 10 and some more ones. You've also been practicing counting in our new way, the say 10 way, where yesterday you played bingo with Mr. O'Connor using a game board with the say 10 way numbers. And today we're gonna to be playing bingo, but we're gonna be using a game board with numbers from numbers 11 all the way to 19. So the materials that you're gonna to need to play this game with me are something to write on to make our game board and a writing tool. I will have our cards with our 10 sticks and some more ones that we will be drawing to see which space on our bingo board that we will be crossing out. If you made these with Mr. O'Connor yesterday, you don't need them right now and you can put them to the side, but later we'll talk about how you can use them as you play with a partner. So let's make our game board. We're gonna make a game board with nine spaces. So you're gonna draw two big lines across with space in between, and also two little lines down, also with two spaces in between, like a tic-tac-toe. Then we're gonna write in the numbers from 11 to 19. You can choose to write them in any space that you want so that your game board is unique. So the first number is 11. 11 is a one and a one. I chose to make one here, but again, you can make yours anywhere. The next number is 12, a one and a two. The next number is 13, a one and a three. The next number is 14, a one and a four. The next number is 15, a one and a five. The next number is 16, a one and a six. The next number is 17, a one and a seven. The next number is 18, a one and an eight. And our last number is 19 a one and a nine. Great, so now that our game board is completed, the way that you play this game is I'm gonna be shuffling up our cards with our 10 stick and some more ones. And I'm gonna choose one, I'm gonna show it to you, you're gonna figure out what quantity that is, and we're gonna match it to a number on our bingo board. Remember that there's lots of ways to play bingo. You can play by getting three in a row, by going from left to right, top to bottom, or corner to corner or you also can play the way of getting all of the spaces covered. So the choice is up to you of how you wanna to play today. I'm gonna to show you a card with a 10 stick and some more ones. We're gonna figure out how many we see, and then we're gonna match it to the number on our bingo board. Great, so I see a 10 stick and I see some more ones. Let's count to see how many ones we have. One, two, three. So we have a 10 stick and three ones. So if I say it in the say 10 way, it would be 10 and three. So now I need to match that way to the number. Hmm, I'm not sure what number it is, but I can count on from 10, because this is a group of 10. So 10, 11, 12, 13. So now I know that 10 and three is the same as 13. So now I'm gonna find that number 13 on our bingo board. 13 is a one and a three. That one is that group of 10 right here, that 10 stick. And that three is a three more ones. So you can either cross it out with a different marker, just like this. Or if you wanna save your game board and reuse it again as you play, you can take a small item and just put it right there on 13 to cover it up. So I'm gonna take my card, put it in a pile and choose another one. Here's our next card. Let's find out how many there are and the numeral that matches it. So I see a 10 stick, and I know right away that this is a group of four. So I have 10 and four. And now let's figure out the numeral that matches it. So I'm gonna count on from 10, because this is a group of 10, and then some more ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I know that 14 is the same as 10 and four. So now we're gonna find the number 14 on our bingo board. Oh, there's one and four. There's 10 and four more. I'm gonna cross it out and we're gonna do the same thing. Here's our next card. We have 10 and let's find out how many more ones we have. I see a group of three here and a group of three here. So three and three is six. So I have 10 and six, which is the same as 16. Let's double check that by counting on from 10. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 10 and six is the same as 16, which is here, 10 and six. 
a one and a six. Cross that out. Let's look at our next number. So what number matches this quantity? And let's find it on our bingo board. Here's my group of 10, our 10 stick. I see right away here's a group of five. It looks like a dice and then three more. So I know for my ones, there's five and three, which is the same as eight. So if I say this quantity in the say 10 way, it would be 10 and eight. And 10 and eight is the same as 18. Let's double check that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we know that 10 and eight is the same as 18. Let's find that number here. Great. Our next card. Here's my one ten stick and my one one. So ten, oops, so one ten stick and one one. So 10 and one is the same as 11. 10, 11. So 10 and one is the same as 11. Find that on your game board and cross it out or put your counter to cover it up. Here's our next one. So I see right away my group of 10 or my 10 stick. I'm not sure how many ones I have, so I'm gonna make a counting path to find out. Come with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 10 and nine, if I say in the say 10 way, and 10 and nine is same as 19. But let's double check that. We're gonna count on from 10 and the more ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Great, so 10 and nine is the same as 19. Find that on your game board. We'll cross it up, put your counter there. Our next card. Again, I see a 10 stick or group of 10 right away. So we have 10 and let's make a counting path to figure out how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 10 and seven, which is the same as 17. Let's double check that by counting on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Great, so 10 and seven is the same as 17. Let's find 17 on your bingo board and cross it out or put your counter there. We have two more. Great, here's our 10 stick or group of 10. And I see a group of three and a group of two. And three and two is the same as five. So if I say this quantity in the say 10 way, it would be 10 and five. And we know that 10 and five is the same as 15. Let's double track by counting on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10 and five is the same as 15. Find 15 on your bingo board, cross it out. And our last one is this. So we have our 10 stick and two more ones. So 10 and two, which is the same as 12. Let's double check that. 10, 11, 12. Great, so 10 and two is same as 12. And let's cross that out. Great, thanks for playing with these scholars. Scholars. So now it's your turn. You can play this game. And the great thing about bingo is you can play by yourself, with a partner, or with lots of people if you want to. But the materials that you're going to need are your cards with your 10 seconds to more ones. And you may have made these cards yesterday with Mr. O'Connor and you can use the same ones. The important thing to remember though is that your cards matches the numbers that you write on your bingo board. So which brings us to the second material that you're gonna need. You're gonna need something to write on for your bingo board and it may be that if you use counters when we play together, that you can reuse your bingo board if you have your cards from 11 to 19. Or like me, you crossed it out, you're gonna to need to make a new bingo board. And that's totally fine. You can erase it again on a piece of paper and then write your numbers from 11 to 19 if you're using the cards that we made today. And the last material you're gonna need is either counters to cover up your bingo square or a marker to cross out those numbers. 
So I hope, you, I hope that you have fun, scholars, and that you grow your math gender rights in the process. Have a great day, scholars. Bye.